Hello, welcome back to Gatabud. Today we are going to do a very special four star armor video, my childhood favorite Fierce Deity Link. And because I love this armor, because it just looks cool to begin with, I thought that this was a great opportunity to do a special video where I go above and beyond and do this on a fresh save file. And the reason being is I believe if you are a beginning player, this is the perfect armor for you to bridge yourself into the harder content. And it'll take a little more time and effort than it would to get the Barbarian armor, for example. But this is no longer locked between an amiibo, and I've always felt this way even during the Breath of the Wild days, that this is the better way to go for newer players. So I'm doing this on a fresh save file. I'm going to make no assumptions on your skill level or anything like that. And I'm going to show you the easy ways and the hard ways to get these things done and give you a path forward to uh, taking out the really hard battles. So I really hope you enjoy this. Let's get into it. Alright, we are fresh off of the Great Sky Island. That's right, I made a new save file just to bring you guys this. Alright, you're going to see me do this before I even have a map of the area, but for the boots, we are headed to the Ancient Tree Stump. It is very close to Lookout Landing, and that's why I'm just doing it fresh off the Great Sky Island, because why not? I literally haven't even been to Lookout Landing yet, and I'm going to get these boots in the Ancient Tree Stump. I got no paraglider, no nothing. I got no climbing gear. Nothing's going to stop me from getting to this. And look what we have. The fierce deity boots. I'm not going to do the other two without going to Lookout Landing first. I'm going to get the paraglider. Um, right outside Lookout Landing, I got this. Okay. Not bad. I went ahead and snagged this too. See my climbing video for how to on that. I wonder if I can get all the way to the castle. Need it just a tad extra. This too. I'm raiding the castle now.
these bows are going to come in very handy. So is this. Just ran in the castle. There's going to be gloom hands right there. Honestly, don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to try this. And get stamina right here. Yeah, this is going to work. Fill. Fly a little bit this way. I think this little spot too. I can stand up. Yeah, there we go. Definitely gonna work. This used to be a really hard shrine. No, it's a shield. I'm gonna fly as far as I can and try to make it to the stable right there. Alright, I see the Akela Citadel off in the distance. That's our next stop. This used to be the hardest Sheikah Tower in Breath of the Wild. There's probably still a lot going on up there. You know what? After doing a lap on the Citadel, our best way in is actually going to be this tower. So we're going to go unlock this tower and get the map here. You can see the citadel right here when approaching from the sky. This is way better than trying to climb that giant wall, which is what you had to do in Breath of the Wild. It was rough. Dare me to go mess with that with basically nothing. <laughs> if I had a couple ice key sideballs, I'd think about it. Alright, I've cleared the shrine. We're going to be looking for a cave inside the citadel on kind of the left-hand side. And that's going to have our next armor piece in there. It's really important you get that shrine before you leave, though, because we're going to be coming back here for Dinral. Yeah, this is it. It's literally all you had to do. We've got the Fierce Deity Armor. The hard part was just getting here. So the exact spot was right here. In the Akela Citadel Ruins. Alright, our last piece is going to be here in this lake in a skull. And... I don't know if I can fly all the way there, but... If I can, that's really the easiest way to do this, so let's set a mark. I've got a couple stamina potions, so let's let's give this a shot and see how close I get. Yeah, right there. Ooh. Yeah, there's not really anything on the way there to rest on, so I'm just going to try to brute force this with stamina potions. If you don't want to do that, I would recommend there's a stable right there. I would head towards that stable to the northeast and then head across the plains right there. But as you can see, we got to get to the top of this thing, so coming in through the top is probably the easiest way to go. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like even if you have a fully loaded three stamina wheels, you would still need some potions to get you there. Probably just one.
Oh, nice. Look what's up here. Ooh, this is tempting. Sure, let's do a distraction real quick. Alright, back to what we were actually doing. We are diving in here. these guys harassing us while we climb, so... Here's our Fierce Deity upgrade requirements. The reason that I believe that this is better for a beginner player to tackle than the Barbarian Armor is the emphasis on collecting the Dragon Parts instead of having to deal with Lynels at the lower levels of the armor. We don't have to deal with Lynels until we're trying to upgrade to the final stage and all we have to deal with are Henoxes, which are actually really easy. For this initial first phase, we gotta get 12 dragon parts. I have the chasms of interest marked on this map where they enter and exit the depths. Basically, they do a, a lap where they spend half their time underground and half their time above ground. And on average, they're between 30 and 40 minutes typically. So, you know, think 15 underground, 15 above ground, give or take. And since we are just starting out and we have limited resources, we really want to take advantage of when they're entering and exiting because of the low stamina requirements or battery requirements to get the parts we need. So I have circled the fast travel points that you're going to want and there's a 10 minute cooldown for each dragon on how frequently you can harvest parts and we want to ping pong around these six locations until we get what we need. And because I got a clear shot at his head, which is kind of hard to come by, I'm not going for the scale, I'm going for the, for that. Yeah, let's get the horn. Boom. Let's see if we can still get to this tower. So Feroche is going to descend into this chasm. Feroche is exiting the chasm as we speak. And I would have ideally wanted to be there like as he emerged, but this will do. I'm not going to complain. It's not always perfect, so... And I'm going to try to fly like I'm going towards this, because Feroz is going to cut this way. And I'm going to try to get a shot at his mouth to get the fang, because if you can get a shot at his face, either the horn or the fang, even though that's not needed till later, you want to go ahead and take it because it's a lot easier to get the claw right there even at the tail end and you can literally hit anywhere to get the scale so that doesn't matter so I'm gonna go for the dome right now knock a tooth out let's go 
Now the cool part, even though I have like no stamina, once I hit the updraft, I got a second win there. Let's get a little lower. Get out of the electric ball area. There we go. There's a fang. Incredible. So when they're coming out like this, you gotta wait for just a second because if your shot goes down into the chasm, you're gonna lose it. This is gonna be rough. See if I can pull this off. To have a prayer at a headshot right now, we gotta use a key swing. Go for the horn. Got it. Alright, it's almost time for Nadra again. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop some food. I do have cold food, that's about it. Now let's do the 17. There's Nadra, not glowing. So we are going to ride Nadra for a minute. Alright, so we are riding Nadra right now. And if you needed just Nadra, you could get it every 10 minutes while dealing with that kind of stuff that I've been dealing with. So I'm not freeze proof, I can just handle the weather right now. Because I ate that food. And you don't want to do, well, let's just get a scale right now. The timer has reset. 14.30, so at 4.30 we can get another Nadra part around the, uh, around the village again, so. Let's get a claw. in and out of Denral as fast as you can. He's the most dangerous of the three. Okay, next step is to get six Henox Guts. I know that there are other requirements, but the Guts are really what you should be focused on, and therefore we're going to be doing Black Henoxes exclusively 
because I believe they have a 100% drop rate on guts. So we're just going east from the uh, from the forest tower. And there's going to be one right here. And I'm going to show you all the easiest way to beat one. Let's say you're a total beginner at this game. Haven't fought one of these before. You want to get a head start like this. Try to hit the eye. And let's power down. Let's uh, let's use a weaker bow. I bet he has one. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a soldier's bow. We're going to use soldier's bow to do this. But basically, you just keep a distance and fire away. Try to hit the eye. Once you get him down, you'll know that he'll rise up kind of right where I'm aiming. Almost got it. Now if he starts to close in, start to turn on the jets and get away. He'll get distracted and try to pick up something like that tree. Get the eye shot. Just keep firing. Use even use that time when he's stunned covering his eye to try to get some distance between you and him. If you're having trouble aiming, use the slow-mo. Like that. That hill was a little higher than I thought, so yeah, let's... Jump off this, got the slow-mo. Another eye shot. I wish you could double up on him, but... There we go. That cost me about 40 arrows, but I remained untouched the whole fight. Very low stress, very easy. Now, if you're not a beginner, we're going to do this the, the other way. Now, for this next one, there's one really close to the Denral chasm right here. And as luck would have it, there's an exact same one right there below in the depths. Now me personally I like to fight in the depths because I don't find it that much harder particularly for Hinoxes and you get uh, the crystalline rewards as well so I'm going down there. Since we just took out a black Hinox let's go ahead and use its trophy as our attack up. Got a good weapon need a bow. And I'm actually going to start shooting his leg because he's got like a metal thing right there. You hit that, he's stunned big time. Opens the door for you to hit the eye. And then what I like to do is just do this. Except not hit the knee pad. Get behind him. Get on this leg. It's pretty much over. It's over before it started. There's another Guts. We've got another one right underneath. Kakarika Village to the southwest. Gonna do the exact same thing. Where's that leg brace? Got the eye. Opposite side of the brace. This thing might die before his health bar pops up. Yeah, I never saw his health bar once. He 
if you keep heading southeast from the one that we just beat, there's another one right here. We've got another one northwest of the Karakara Bazaar. He's got wood legs, unlike the other ones. This is what you do on those. Being lazy to get this last one here. All right, we have a three star set. That's a tremendous accomplishment for a new player, so congratulations. As is, you could go all the way through this game and beat it with this armor as is. This is a four star video, though, so we're going to get you to that next level and get you comfortable with vinyls. If you haven't already and don't have at least 1500 rupees, you need to visit this video real quick and go kill some stone taluses and sell their gemstones for money. And this will also make some armor breaking weapons as well that will help you take out these vinyls to get the four star. And I have broken this down in the easy way and the hard way. And if you're a beginner, this there's no shame in saving and quitting and redoing blue Lionels. I'm gonna show you how to do that in a couple spots. And if you're more of an expert, let's go straight to the Coliseum and take on the hardest enemies in this game that I've at least encountered so far. And either way, we're going to end up with the six Lionel Guts that we need on top of the three Dragon Horns that we already got. And you are going to have four-star attack armor and be looking so fresh by the end of this. So, I hope you stick around. Alright, let's first go over what I'm going to call my easy method for these Lionels. Blue Lionels have a low percentage chance of dropping a gut. And... We have three-star armor. I'm in Hateno, and just around the ponds, I gathered these carps, armored carps. And um, I'm going to use one of my spare dragon horns, because I actually did two sets worth making the video. Um, and I'm going to make 30-minute defense food. This is going to completely floor damage for a total of 30 minutes. You don't have to do that. You can just get carps. The way I did it was they're everywhere in these ponds. I just shoot some shock arrows in there and then jump in and grab everything. So that's how I'm getting the carp. So easy spot to get it all in these ponds. And I'm going to go to an area with lots of accessible um, blue Lionels and chances are it's this general area northeast of Kakariko Village. Alright so we're going to start at Lanayru Heights and then move our way to Rabia Plain and then end up in this marsh. What you want to do is get into a good location, drop a hard save close to the Lionel and then attack the Lionel. If guts do not drop, then you just reload your hard save, kill him again, and you didn't waste any time on your defense food. And it's about a 25% drop rate, so it'll probably take you a couple kills each time. 
If you exclusively want to do the blue vinyl method, there's a second trio southwest of Lake Hylia over here. So I would uh, hit these three. They're the uh, bow and arrow symbols. Going right in, doing the same thing again. Look at that, I got the shot off and the flurry. He's gonna do his little headbutt thing. Come right where I want him. It's over. There's guts. All right, we got them. That's what's up. I want to stay locked on and just stay on his rear end right here. We're gonna get an opportunity to likely do this again. Yeah, it's over. Just keep it completely under control. And these are way easier than the Lance guys because they don't run away as much. There's our guts. There's guts. Okay, so let's do the hard way now. Uh, we're going straight to Silver Lionels. There are three fixed spawns on the map. This first solo one is northwest of the abandoned Kakariko mine right here. And in case you were wondering where that massive uh, 175 damage sword you might have noticed in my inventory came from, I did this a while back like almost immediately after I three-starred the armor just to see if it can be done. It can, it was a little tough. And then after we get done with that one, we are going to the Coliseum right next to where we unlocked auto build. You just go northwest and uh, there's a there's a foot entry area. I just flew over with my little hover bike going in there. And there are um, five Lionels, so bring some fairies, bring some food that can erase gloom, um, bring a lot of weapons, be prepared for that. We're just going to go for it. Alright, Armored Silver Lionel. Whoa.
kidding me, dude. There's a headshot. First one of those is not easy. Okay, there's guts in here. This. So I've been keeping this thing since the beginning when I went up to the castle. And by fusing this with it, we're going to get like a ridiculous weapon. Um, looks like a katana now. Yeah, this could be a big deal. Alright, I'm near where you unlock auto build. Going to the underground coliseum. This is where he'll get some guts pretty quickly. I've got a couple fairies. I've still got the defense food from uh, showing the beginner method. Let's see how this goes. On this though, make sure you pick up stuff fast, because if you get killed and have to reload or something, it's not going to be there when you come back, so. And drop a save after every fight, because stuff happens. Let's see if I can do this in one take. Thanks for the breather there. I don't know what this is, but I'm using it. Now it's getting real. This is why we're really here. This guy. This is a silver. And I'm gonna take this pretty seriously. Just had to already use a fairy. Oh! That was gross. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let me do all of that. Oh boy. Now this is the way right here. do I have left? Probably zero. One. I've got one. I'm going to run away. Now I've got the win. Alright, there's your one take there. Whew. As far as I can tell, the silvers are 100% drop rate, so you're going to at least get two there. Eventually you're going to have your six guts, and this is the end result mm -hmm. right here.
We're in a four star set with hardly any story cutscenes, no progress whatsoever. We picked up these boots fresh off the great sky island and this wasn't that hard. And this is one of the most impactful sets you can have for this game. So I hope you enjoyed if you followed along and, and did this as well. Congratulations, very well earned, and I hope to see you again soon. Y'all have a wonderful day.